Let's talk about Samsung's Z Fold 4 for the umpteenth time. We have some more details finally beginning to leak out and actually a small detail to drop here about the Flip 4 as well. So this information comes from Twitter from Leaker Extraordinaire, which was a title he probably would not want to have. Sounds a little bit weird, maybe like a medical problem almost, but this is from Ice Universe. He tweeted 100% confidence here fold 4 4400 milliamp hours and flip 4 3700 milliamp hours now you guys might remember in a video that i posted just a few days ago that the rumors then was only 3400 milliamp hours for the flip 4 so perhaps that was incorrect perhaps this is correct who knows we're not going to know for sure until this thing launches but 3700 milliamp hours is 400 bigger than in the flip 3 so perhaps a noticeable improvement in battery life for the flip 4 compared to the prior version but 4400 milliamp hour battery in the fold 4 means it's the same battery as was in the prior version so probably not going to see a large change in the battery life they're using the snapdragon 8 gen 1 and both of these may be more uh, efficient perhaps that's possible probably not a big difference in the battery but the bigger news that we have here has more to do with the screen size of these devices so he has here sort of diagrammed up the fold 3 and the fold 4 and i personally like what i am seeing this is not quite as far as i would like for it to go but it's a step in the right direction and it's a step towards what I've talked about with the Oppo Find N and the rumors of the Google Pixel Notepad, this is getting shorter and getting wider. Again, not a huge difference, but it is there. It's a little bit shorter and a little bit wider. I think this is the right call, and I've talked about this multiple times already. When you are using the Z Fold and you split screen two apps in this orientation, you wind up with two apps that are very narrow and very skinny. So on the Fold, Four, this is going to be a little bit less true. You're going to have a little bit more width here on your app so that maybe you'll be less inclined to rotating it this way, which does in fact give you a far better experience as far as I'm concerned. I think Samsung understands that this is true. And they're moving in that particular direction. Here he has them actually overlaid one on top of the other so that you can really see what the difference is. And like I've said, this is not like market. This is not huge. This is not the Oppo find in this is not the pixel notepad but it is a step in the right direction now something you got to think about too though is that this is going to affect other things right so if the device is shorter and wider that's not just going to affect the internal screen you're also going to be affecting the cover display he tweeted out a similar thing with this the cover display which for a lot of people is their biggest issue with the z fold line is very tall very narrow and if you're someone like me who daily drives something like a surface duo or a surface duo 2 and you compare those two side by side you get two extremes of uh, of, of of extreme nature and so on the fold 4 it looks as though because the device itself is getting shorter and wider we're going to get a slight improvement here as well. This is definitely, to my eye, more of a normal looking device, okay? Granted, it's, you know, it's, it's halved, right? So the increase on the main screen when you fold it over is half, but it is shorter. So all in all, I think this is a really nice improvement for the Z Fold 4 as it is getting shorter and wider and probably easier to use in general better for split screen multitasking in general as well so what do you guys think is the z fold 4 trending in the direction you'd like to see it go it's getting wider it's getting shorter the cameras appear to have been improved significantly as well with that 108 megapixel sensor being highly rumored and a 3x telephoto equally as rumored please do let me know in the comments down below are you looking at that are you waiting for the pixel notepad are you still all in on duo or duo 2 let me know what you think about all this stuff in the comments down below i'll see you on the next one and until next time stay nerdy my friends